Shalom fam, it's your sis that biblical bay jelly be I am it. I'm back again because the Lord has put it in my spirit to speak a word of encouragement to somebody. You're gonna need this word, all right? And um somebody you are you've already stepped into prom promotion sorry you've already stepped into promotion but promotion isn't going to look like what you think it is promotion for david was him slaying the giant okay we know that he was already anointed to be king from when he was a little picnic he was a picking and samuel came and he anointed him even though he was the one in the back the kind of rough looking one that his dad wasn't thinking nice not him um, and remember, everyone else, his brothers, specifically David, um, just want to say this, that sometimes I do, I don't even realise that I've said something that is not completely what the scriptures say, because I'm human, and I thank you so much for people who correct me, I appreciate you, I'm just a human being, so always check the word, because the word is truth, not me, hallelujah. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys. But um, somebody, so this, you was like, David, I've spoken this before, time and time again that um people they underestimate you continually not knowing the anointing that's actually on your life they don't realize that you are god's chosen one he chose you because of the heart you have you ain't perfect but what is inside your heart there's certain things that the lord knows he can use you for certain things there's you know i don't even know what to say you just have a heart of david and the lord wants to build upon you that's what he has destined to do for you and all the time people continually um underestimate you they try to put their armor on you they try to tell you to do this and to go in this way and assume that you don't have things planned out you've got no plan no vision when in actual fact you have the greatest vision because you can you can see the most high his spirit is upon you, is within you, is the one that guides you. They don't recognize you're not doing things in your own strength. You are coming in agreement with what the word says, with the Lord, with the one who you call the almighty, the one that you know is with you. Therefore, you will never fail. You will never lose. You're not doing things in your own strength. And this is what many people are yet to recognize about you. Promotion is here though. And promotion for you is going to look like this. You're going to slay a giant you're going to slay a giant in your life and people will finally be able to see that oh Saul I mean he he did 1000 he killed 1000 he did whatever for 1000 but David he did tens of thousands okay check the scripture to make sure I'm speaking the word the word is within me all praises to the most high and someone, you're about to step into this situation where it's not going to be pretty for you. Don't get me wrong. This is what the scripture that the Holy Spirit brought to me. And this is what I said previously about uh, the father. He is spirit. His soul is the father. That's his personality. And his flesh is Jesus Christ. Somebody said that the Holy Spirit is not the word. I said spirit the spirit of God. There's a difference between the spirit with a capital letter. Read the scriptures, guys, and the Holy Spirit, okay? So I just want to address that. Um, but, help me, Lord. Yeah, this was the scripture. It's Jeremiah 1, verse 1, to, I think it's Jeremiah 1, verse 1 to 5, or something along those lines. Read it yourself, yeah? Where the Lord calls Jeremiah his prophet and says, look, you're going to speak the words that I have called you to speak. And Jeremiah's like, well, I can't do this. I'm a youth. I'm but a baby. I don't know what to say. And the Lord tells him, do not watch their faces. Don't look at their faces. I will put the words in your mouth. You will speak what I have caused you to speak, but do not watch their faces. And a lot of you, you don't recognize just how much power and authority you have in your voice. This is what the enemy has continually tried to attack about you. You will know that you're powerful because the enemy from you was little was trying to shut you up. And this happens in a wide variety of ways where y your family might have told you, you chat too much. You're always chatting our business. That's one. You might have, you might have tried to tell people about certain things when you were young. And what you were met with, the response you got was thing, uh, a response that made you feel ashamed or embarrassed or scared to even speak about that same situation again. This was just the enemy trying to herd you. 
because that's what he does if you look at the world most people are herded and they don't realize they are being pushed in a direction they're not sheep that follow because they know their good shepherd is leading them to uh, still waters and green pastures they are being herded because they don't even know where they're going something is continually pulling them and pushing pushing them causing them to be triggered and this is what the enemy tried to do he's been trying to do this to you from you as little trigger you cause you to have these trauma responses that you won't speak you feel like you need to people please and you don't want to make people feel bad and you want to be nice and you want to be kind and you want to say the right thing because you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings because you know what it feels like to have your feelings hurt you know what it feels like to try to speak to somebody about something that's very personal to you and they kind of throw it back in your face and make you feel like Ew. you re what really Ew. You know what it feels like to share intimate things about yourself to someone that you think you can trust. And they turn around and point and accuse you or turn around and tell lies on you. Continually, the enemy has tried to steal your voice. And you, your promotion comes from you actually having to do the very thing that you probably fear the most. And that is hurting other people's feelings. And do you know what? The Lord, he's... <laughs> the word is a double-edged sword, okay? in that it will cut you because it causes you to to grow to change that's what it, it does for you and then it also does the same for other people in that when you're speaking the gospel it's not going to always feel nice or sound nice maybe if you, you're just a traditional christian and you know you're not really actually allowing the holy spirit who brings remembrance of the word to convict you because that's life that's how you grow it's like being watered it's like being watered but with uh waters that are flowing that it's like it's too much for you sometimes that you got oh push this away but next i'm going to i'm going to come back lord don't i'm not gone but i need a minute you know it's it's continually growing through the the spirit through the life that the spirit which is the word of god brings to you okay and so someone your promotion is linked to you're going to have to tell the truth to someone you're going to have to tell someone the truth, the un, is it obliterated, unfiltered truth. And this is something you, you, you know, kind of just keep the peace. You, you like to be a peacemaker. No, you like to be a peacekeeper because I saw this in a um, meme recently that you like to be a peacekeeper rather than being a peacemaker. You like to keep the peace and just, yeah, go with the flow and yeah, don't want to cause too much ruffles and yeah, just be easy and whatever not realizing that actually you're gonna have to make peace because the places that the lord has sent you in these are war zones in the spiritual realm and you were called appointed and anointed to tear down some giants in the spiritual realm and that also means sometimes those spirits that are working through people you're gonna have to tell them get behind me satan so somebody this is the time your promotion is linked to your voice this is why the enemy has tried so very hard to shut you up because you don't think like the conventional person you have been privy to information to understanding that most don't have might most don't even think on that level this is your uh anointing that's on your life that is the word that comes out of your mouth that is um the oil that the holy spirit has Mm, fermented has fortified within you through you walking with the lord you have a level of wisdom that is going to set people free simply because you are able to tear down giants with the truth the truth that is in you and you're gonna have to not not worry about stepping on toes and taking on other people's armor because they think that you should do this and do it that way you're gonna have to go knowing that i'm going with a stone and my slingshot and the heavenly armies that sent me that anointed and appointed me for this battle because i've already won last thing i'm gonna say and this is what the lord already spoke there's gonna be on the other side of this promotion for you whoever this word is for but there is going to be a serious demotion for people who have been dabbling in things that are not of god a serious demotion giants those people who thought they were giants are about to fall. That's what the Lord spoke to me. So anyway, I just got to speak that to somebody. Guys, I love you. Stay encouraged in the Lord and do not forget that we don't walk alone. 
we don't walk alone open your spiritual eyes and recognize that there are more with us than against us shalom